Hey friends, Miss Kay here. Today we're going to read Friends Around the World. It was written by Anna Gallen. In this story, Isabel makes new friends with e-pals from all around the world. Find out what languages they speak, what their favorite foods are, and what life is like in the countries they live in. This type of book has some interesting text features to pay attention to. The first one we're going to look at is a glossary. A glossary contains definitions of certain special words that are found within the text. The words are listed in alphabetical order. Another neat part of this book is the index. Like the glossary, it is found in the back of the book. It lists important topics that you'll find within the text. These are listed in alphabetical order, and they also have the page number where you can find information about that topic. Since the author of this text decided to use photographs, she also used captions. Captions are the words next to the picture that tell us what the picture is all about. Make sure you read all the captions while you're reading this text. In the very front of the book, we have a table of contents. This lists all the topics in order on the pages that you'll see them. In this book, all these names that you see are letters between Isabel and her friends. Today, my teacher, Ms. Thompson, gave us a great surprise. We will exchange emails, letters, and pictures with our new friends from around the world. Ms. Thompson gave me the names of my new e-pals. I found out some facts about where they live. My e-pals live far away. Name, Isabel, that's me. Age seven, country USA. Lives in New York City. Type of place, big city. Name, Akiak, age eight. Country, Canada. Lives in Yellowknife. Type of place, small city. Name, Dan, age eight, country, Australia, lives in Northern Territory, type of place, remote farm. Name, Hao, age seven, country, Vietnam, lives in Ho Chi Minh City, type of place, big city. Isabel, New York City, USA, two, how Akiak Dan. Dear friends, my name is Isabel. I'm seven years old. I live in New York City in the United States of America. I live on the 14th floor of a big apartment building. Don't worry, there's an elevator. I take the subway to school with my mom. The subway is an underground train. Here are some pictures of my city. How do you go to school? Please write back soon. Your new e-pal, Isabel. The subway is a fast way to get around the city. The Statue of Liberty is very famous. This tall building is called the Empire State Building. It is 103 floors high. How? Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. To Isabel. Hi, Isabel. My name is Hao. I'm seven years old. I live in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. I speak Vietnamese and I'm learning English. There are over five million motorcycles in my city. My mom takes me to school on her motorcycle. I wear a helmet and my school uniform. It's a white shirt, blue scarf, and blue skirt. I hope you like my pictures. Your friend, Hao. Here's my family riding our motorcycle. People wear masks for protection from the smog. Ho Chi Minh City is the largest city in Vietnam. There are more motorcycles than cars in my city. Akiak, Yellowknife, Canada. To Isabel. Hi, Isabel. My name is Akiak. It's an Inuit name meaning brave. 
I speak English, French, and Inuktitut. I live in the Arctic Circle. It's very cold here. I walk to school in a heavy parka, boots, and a warm hat. Sometimes I wear snowshoes. Do you play any sports? I love to play ice hockey with my friends. I love snowboarding too. Yours truly, Akiak. Snowboarding is a popular sport here. Here are some Canadian bills. Snowmobiles help us move quickly across the snow. Dan, Northern Territory, Australia, to Isabel. Hi Isabel, my name is Dan. I live on a farm in the Australian outback. The closest town is Alice Springs. It is three hours away by car. We have lots of animals on our farm. We have horses, cows, and chickens. My sister and I go to the school of the air. This means we don't go into school each day. It's too far. Our teacher uses the internet to give us work. She visits us at home once a year. Each semester, she sends us school books, software, and DVDs. I need to go feed the chickens now. Talk to you soon, Dan. Sometimes wild kangaroos come into our backyard. Our farm is a long way from the nearest town. Children and their parents can talk to teachers using the internet. Isabel, New York City, USA. To How Akiak Dan. Dear friends, last weekend I went to a baseball game. My favorite team is the New York Yankees. When I go to a game, I always eat a hot dog. I like sports. I play soccer in the fall. My coach told me that in most of the world, they call soccer football. Here are some pictures of my favorite sports. Right soon, Isabel. American football is a lot of fun. I love playing baseball. I scored a home run last week. This is a baseball game at Yankee Stadium. How? Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. To Isabel. Hi Isabel. Today I took pictures of some of my favorite foods. There are many food markets in Ho Chi Minh City. There are street vendors selling food on almost every corner. Some mornings I eat noodle soup for breakfast. It is yummy. I love fruit especially dragon fruit. It's pink on the outside and white on the inside. Your friend, how? These people are selling fruit. They are wearing traditional Vietnamese hats. Boats bring fruit and vegetables to the city. This soup is called pho. It has noodles and vegetables. Akiak, Yellowknife, Canada, to Isabel. Hi Isabel, guess what? My dad is teaching me to drive a dog sled. We have 10 sled dogs. Every year, there's a race in my town. My dad always competes. Maybe one day I will too. Last weekend, we went camping and ice fishing. The lake was frozen, so we drilled a hole in the ice. At night, we cooked the fish over the fire. We also ate my favorite meal, caribou. I saw many animals, even an Arctic fox. Yours truly, Akiak. My grandfather caught a really big fish. The Arctic fox is white in the winter and brown in the summer. My dad takes part in dog sled races. Dan, Northern Territory, Australia, to Isabel. Hi Isabel, there are many fun things to do in the outback. I love to ride my horse. Sometimes I help to round up our cows. We ride our horses behind the cows to bring them home. It's a lot of fun. It can be dangerous, so I always wear a helmet. On weekends, I like to play backyard cricket with my sister. Talk to you soon. Dan. 
When it's winter in New York, it's summer in Australia. Rounding up the cows is called a cattle drive. You need a good bat to play cricket. Isabel, New York City, USA. To How Akia Dam. Dear friends, there is a lot to do in New York City too. We have lots of museums. My favorite is the Museum of Natural History. You can see real dinosaur skeletons there. They're enormous. In the summer, I like to go to the beach. New York is by the ocean. In the winter, I like to go ice skating in Central Park. We have four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. What is the weather like where you live? Your friend, Isabel. There are lots of interesting things to see at the American Museum of Natural History. I love going to Central Park in the winter. How, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, to Isabel. Hi, Isabel. It's always hot in Ho Chi Minh City. We have two seasons, rainy season and dry season. During the rainy season, it pours every day. Sometimes the river overflows and floods the streets. In the dry season, I love playing in the park. There are lots of great playgrounds. Your friend, how? There are some great playgrounds in my city. The streets get flooded, but we still go out. Akiak, Yellowknife, Canada, to Isabel. Hi, Isabel. There was a big blizzard in our town last week. We couldn't go to school for three days. I built a huge snow castle when it stopped snowing. Last night, we saw the northern lights. We often see them in winter. They look like green shapes that move slowly across the sky. My mom made some Inuit boots for you. We mailed them today. I hope you like them. Yours truly, Akiak. You can see the Northern Lights most clearly in the Arctic. Look at my snow castle. Dan, Northern Territory, Australia, to Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Yesterday, I fell off my horse and hurt my leg. My mom called the Royal Flying Doctor Service. The doctor arrived by airplane in just one hour. Now I have a bandage on my leg. I will be better soon. We are lucky to have flying doctors in the outback. This evening, we are having a barbecue. Yum! Talk to you soon, Dan. The Royal Flying Doctor Service is so important that its founder is on our $20 bills. The Royal Flying Doctor Service helps people who live a long way from hospitals. Barbecues are very popular in Australia. Isabel, I have learned so much from my new friends. Miss Thompson asked me to write about some things I have learned. Some of my friends live very far from a city. Others live in big cities like mine. Our favorite foods, activities, and the things we do for fun are different. The weather is different in each country, but we have lots of things in common too. We all have to do schoolwork, and we all like to have fun. There are exciting things to do in all four places. I can't wait to learn more about other kids from all over the world.